welcome to Nellyville. Hi, you go. I say hello to my, to my co-host, my studio audience. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button, thumbs up, and post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. So let's just get right into it. Here we go. It's time for Hot Topics. today so let's just get right into it darling let's get right into it okay so first things first Selena Gomez isn't she cute isn't she just cute don't you just love her okay so Selena Gomez birthday today looking fabulous looking great I mean we, we love to see it. she's 28 guys can you believe it 28 she looks damn good right still relevant you know she's one of those who's really had a great career and uh, I think we're going to keep seeing more from, from her. She has a little Netflix special. She's still making music. And she's come a long way with the music. <laughs> I mean, no, no, not being. I, she's come a long way. Look, always been a great actress. Um, always been a, I've always been a fan of her music. But it took a while for her to really, you know, get noticed. So, uh, happy birthday, Selena. We, we can't wait to see and hear more from you. Looking, looking good, looking good. Okay, so next, One Direction. 10 years, 10 years. I mean, what were you doing 10 years ago? Can you believe it's been 10 years since One Direction has come out? And they're talking a reunion. So, uh, you know. Do we want to see that? Are, are we interested? Are the kids interested? You know, what's going on? I mean, they had a really nice run. So I think it would be good for them to make a comeback and get together. You know? Look at them. Aren't they adorable? I, I just, I, I, I love them. I love them. Great hits. For the most part, they stayed out of trouble. Never really heard anything about them. So, okay, One Direction. Congratulations. Ten year reunion. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Just a mess. Look at this. <sighs> you, you know, look, all jokes aside, somebody really needs to come and help this man. Um, Kim, get your husband. What are you doing? What are you doing? You know, look, I'm not one to sit up here in judgment of anybody. <laughs> but, you know, all jokes aside, you know, it's fun and funny to look at it and laugh at it. Yeah. You know, what What can you really say? Now, I know he, uh, Kanye is supposed to have an album that comes out on Friday. Uh, but, uh, you know, can you say that all of this is in promotion of an album? Or do we think something more is going on here? I mean, we know something more is going on here. But I guess we have to wait and see. If this kind of, if he calms down, you know, after the album drops, then we know that most of it was for show. And really, I, I hope that it is. Because at this rate, something, something's really wrong. Something's wrong. I... Anyways, uh, Tabor, who's next? Who's next, Tabor? Okay. Uh, on uh, in lighter news, good news, Russell Westbrook clear for the COVID. He's been tested. He was quarantined after being diagnosed a couple weeks ago. Uh, just after 4th of July, right, Tabor? Yes? Okay. Um, he's clear. So, what Russell Westbrook is supposed to be playing with uh, Houston, the Rockets, on Friday. Uh, when asked if he was going to be able to play, he said, let's see if I can even make a layup. So... Do we really think the NBA is going to come back? Do we, you know, what do, what do we think? What do we, you know? 
I mean, look, I, and sports are great for morale and everything, but when it comes to the safety, you know, is it worth really putting everyone at risk? I, I don't know. I can see it both ways. As you know, NBA is supposed to be coming back in the bubble in, the, in Orlando down in Disney. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, glad to hear that you're feeling better, Russell Westbrook. Even though he said he didn't really have symptoms, but we're glad to hear that you are clear. So, congratulations. Hope, hope to see you play. Safely. Safely. Alright, and last... Okay, Doja Cat, you know, look. Nothing really major is popping off with her right now. Nothing new, but it's it's the same issue that keeps coming up with, with Doja Cat. And it's this whole issue of, it's an identity crisis. But it's not so much with her, it's with everyone else. Um, people who are anti-fans of Doja Cat, it's the issue of, you know, as you know, she is a biracial woman. And, you know, it's, it's, it's the same battle of, well, she is not acting black enough for her. She, now she's acting white, and then people are calling her racist. But it's like, how can she be racist if she's biracial? And it's never ending, and I don't understand. And, and like Doja Cat said recently in a tweet, I, you know, I don't think she's the one with the identity crisis. I think that it's people watching her. I mean, I love Doja Cat. I love her music. Uh, for the most part, she's unproblematic. You know, what people have to understand is she's one of those she likes to say and do things for shock value. She is not a overly serious person, and just any and just any little thing that she does or says, people love to take it and, and run with it. And I say, Doja, keep doing you, honey. Keep doing you. Haters are gonna hate. And I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be one of those that's going to cancel Doja Cat. Does she do and say some weird stuff? Yes. <laughs> Don't they all? I, <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, look, it, 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 you know, that's just, that's just my opinion. On that. That's just my opinion. And... You know, and one more, one more talk, one more thing. I want to throw this in here. Tabor, throw up uh, Megan and and uh, Tory Lanez for me. <laughs> Look, I, I know this is this is kind of old news, and we've discussed it, but I mean, Megan, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, you really need to be careful about who you are affiliating with, honey. Okay, you are somebody who you're still kind of at your peak, but you got some people on, on your tail here. Now, so for those of you who don't know, allegedly, uh, Tory Lanez shot Megan in the foot in a car at a party, uh, what was it, a couple weekends ago. Just get up, right? Just, just to get up. I, I mean, I... We would probably never really know the story, but between you and I, this is what I think happened. And don't quote me on this. I think Kylie set it up. I think Kylie or somebody in our team, our family, I think I think that they set it up because, you know, Kylie, yeah, Kylie and Travis, they claim that they're not together or whatever. Um, I think, you know, Travis is also from Texas, as is Megan, and I think that they became good Judys. And I think it, you know, and Kylie was kind of like, hm, you know, get away from my man. And you know, Megan with the twerking, you know, and she's all woo 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 woo. And I think she came out third, Megan came, and she was woo woo, and Kylie didn't like it, and then, yeah. And I think that Tory Lanez was like, Megan, look, this is what. This is what I have to do. I don't know what to do. I don't want to shoot you, but I, she's going to expose me. I think Kylie was probably threatening to expose to her. And Megan was like, well, okay, just get it over. Just, just shoot me in the foot. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. You didn't hear it from me. That's just my thought, my conspiracy theory, allegedly. Anyways. 
that's all the hot topics we have for you today. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and subscribe, click the thumbs up, and hit the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. We'll see you next time.